Putin arrived to see Kim Jong-un, and the two leaders made their statements. Hello and welcome. My name is Eid Begdavlatov, and you're watching the Daily News on OnePlus One News. Russian leader Vladimir Putin arrived in North Korea for the first time in 24 years and met with the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, in Pyongyang. The delegations held an hour and a half of talks at the Kim Susan Palace. After that, the dictators will meet in person. The streets of Pyongyang were decorated with Russian flags and banners with Putin's face. Putin announced that a new fundamental document has been prepared that will form the basis of relations between Russia and North Korea for many years to come, and that interactions between the two countries is based on equality and mutual respect. Putin acknowledges the role of past generations and sees their exploits as a solid foundation for present-day relations between Russia and North Korea. He also commends North Korea's support for Russian policy, particularly in the context of Ukraine. Once again, he repeated his propaganda thesis that his country is fighting against decades of imposed U.S. imperialist policies and expressed hope that his next meeting with the North Korean leader will take place in Moscow. Kim Jong-un says the North Korean government appreciates Russia's role in maintaining the world's strategic balance. He also expresses support for the war against Ukraine and believes the relations between his country and Russia are entering a new heyday. In a clear sign of concern, the White House has expressed its worry over the deepening ties between Russia and North Korea. The United States has announced its intent to monitor the progress of this cooperation closely. A new report by the Institute for the Study of War emphasized that on the eve of his visit to North Korea, Putin published an article in the North Korean state-run Rodong Sing Moon newspaper praising Russian-North Korean cooperation. In particular, he mentioned that the Soviet Union was the first country to establish diplomatic relations with North Korea. Experts believe this is probably how the Russian dictator aims to present any future support Pyongyang will provide to Moscow as part of a joint struggle against the West. On September 12, 2023, Kim Jong-un met with the Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Vostochny Cosmodrome in the Amur region. Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin met for the first time in four years at the summit in Russia. During the meeting, Putin revealed that North Korea had expressed interest in Russian space rockets. He added that Russia might consider assisting North Korea in satellite construction, as the Russian media reported. That's all for now. Stay tuned for further news and opinions at OnePlus One News. Thank <laughs> you.